Is Japan stepping up its role in the Middle East? That seems to be the message, as Japanese Foreign Minister Taro Kono continues his six-day tour of the region. The first signal comes amid a report that the Japanese government is trying to set up a four-way summit in Tokyo with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, and White House Senior Advisor Jared Kushner. The Japanese Foreign Ministry was not available for comment on the accuracy of the report published in WALA website. Netanyahu has made his attendance conditional on a the U.S. administration's green light, whilst reports signal that Abbas is yet to respond. But what can we infer from Japan's proposal to revive peace efforts? Japan says it wants the United States to assume the role as mediator of the conflict. At a time when so many actors are jostling for role of honest broker, the US, France, Russia, China, the United Nations Japan has decided to take a side by backing its American ally, even though it could easily have stayed silent. And in siding with the US, it has chosen to back a country whose long-standing position as impartial mediator has been called into question by a critical party to any negotiations, the Palestinians. Japan's interests in the region, of course, go beyond the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. On Wednesday Kono will make a stop in Oman. Japan is interested because of Oman's strategic location and sees Oman as a key piece of its strategy for an open Indo-Pacific, sea lanes linking the Indian and Pacific Oceans open to commerce by all. Reading not too far between the lines, that's all about China and Japan's apparent concerns that China's massive Belt and Road Initiative could one day disadvantage Japan in moving energy supplies or accessing export markets. In this sense, Oman is important. Its location astride the Indian Ocean makes it a potential gateway to the Middle East for the competing powers of East Asia. Politically, China too has been making inroads into a separate Israeli-Palestinian peace venture. Only days ago, it convened the Beijing Initiative, which some have assumed could be China's attempt at seeking to fill a growing diplomatic vacuum whilst also following suit from its expanding economic reach in the area. The world's third-largest economy, Japan, is appearing to come to the conclusion that it needs an active Middle East policy to protect important interests.